called the uh, meeting to order Board of Health, August 15th. Uh, Dragon is not able to be here tonight due to a school commitment for their son. Uh, so welcome everybody, calling the meeting to order. We have uh, acceptance of the motion for the- Yeah, I make a motion to accept the previous minutes. Second All in favor, favor yes. All Second in favor. favor. Good, Me okay. And most. Update from the health inspector. All right. So, uh, let's see. We already talked about COVID kits. We're getting a, a bunch of new ones. Susan, you already have some. I ordered some more as well, so we hopefully stocked up for the beginning of winter. Um, second round of restaurant inspections are happening. So we got all the first ones done this year. We're doing our second ones now. So we'll have, we'll have two done a year, which is what we're aiming for. Uh, there is uh, delays for tapestry. Uh, you know, we're trying to work with them. I sent out an email to the, to the board uh, showing kind of where we're at. Uh, they're having a lot of turnover and, you know, there's just a lot of stuff that's that's making it that's hard to schedule a meeting with both them and Craig stores. So you need to get both of them combined because that's who's going to be working together. So because of that, you know, just trying to get everybody's schedules aligned, it's been, it's still the case that we haven't been able to nail down a time to get that meeting done and move us to the next step. Just want to let the board know we're still working on it. We just haven't gotten there yet. All right. <clears throat> Next thing is uh, uh, the contract for the collaborative. We have the select board meeting uh, that will consider it uh, this coming Wednesday. We are going to have somebody from the collaborative there and uh, our own town legal uh, team hasn't agreed to yet. But hopefully they will be there for it as well. Uh, and, uh, and so hopefully any questions that the board might have, we'll be able to answer it then. But really, uh, as you guys know, there is no change to operations. There's no cost to the town. Really, the only thing that they ask for of us is that they want to be able to gather data from inspections, that type of thing, which, of course, I don't think that's that's been a problem for the board here at all. So as long as that's all they're they're really doing and the everything basically stays the same, I'm going to inform the um, uh, the board that the um, or the select board that the board of health has been happy so far with the services that that the um, collaborative has, has provided. Yeah, let them know how they're helping. Us. Yeah, it's yeah. been great help. Great. Good. Help. Okay. All right. So then the next thing on here is uh, I had mentioned I think the uh, meeting previous that the uh, that we have a body art apprentice apprentice um, questions that have been coming to us. Um, so since then, I put together a, um, a rough draft of a uh, of regulations that we could pass. It drew it from Cambridge and other states that have them in place. Uh, so put those kind of together, and uh, so there, that is now done. The draft is done. So I've sent it to legal, mm -hmm. and I expect that it's going to bounce back to me, and it might bounce a few times. Okay. Uh, but I'm letting you guys know we've made progress on right. it, and hopefully we'll be getting it to you guys in the somewhat near future. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. It's, yeah. it's a good job. Thanks. Uh, all right. So then the next, the the uh, last thing I have is that just as of yesterday, the risk assessment for our, our restaurants Ooh. have been completed. I'm going to pass around <clears throat> uh, the uh, some, some of the printed you. slides that our intern Amani put you uh put together. That was great. I was so surprised I didn't think it would happen this quickly. Oh she was fast. She was and also she has to be done for uh a school school exactly. Yep she's uh, doing a master's program. Um so on here just giving you a quick this isn't all the slides but this is some of the slides that are kind of uh key parts to it. Uh scoring system how the uh, risk assessment was, you know, the, the criteria of it. And then on here, we have a little bit of a, um, a, a snapshot of some of the, the some of the establishments, uh, uh, you know, red being high risk, yellow meaning uh, like middle of the road, um, and then um, green being low risk. Uh, and so what we would do with that, now that we have this information, is that we will increase inspections at the for the higher risk establishments and high risk doesn't mean that they're not safe to eat at it just means that they're um 
uh, you know, they handle the food more often, so there's more chance of it being exposed to something or the types of food they have. You know, they handle raw meat or something along those lines. These are all reasons. Or it could be the case that they've had some violations in the past that bumped them up on the on the um, risk spectrum. So uh, because, of, you know, with with a number of criteria, which you can see laid out here, uh, uh, it will, it's determined whether they are high, medium or low risk. Uh, and and then we will adjust our inspections accordingly. The higher gets more inspections. The low will actually have very, much less inspections. So you know maybe once every year and a half, once every two years, versus the mid, uh, which is going to be yearly, and the uh, high risk, which would be two or three times a year, just to make sure that they're. This is, this is great. Um, just a clarification. Yep. I thought every food establishment had to be inspected once a year. That's true, except uh, the new code, new, came out in 18, 2018, says if you do a risk assessment, which is what we did, then you can uh, inspect them at the rates that I, I just actually mentioned. Uh, so I, what I just did, uh, what I just uh, explained verbally wasn't didn't come from me. That came directly from the code. Okay. Um, so we can we can do this. And our our split is great. Yeah, it's good. It's about thirty. It's about it's really thirty percent like for each one. Budget. That's what you. Would yeah, I know. Okay. I asked her if she weighted it to try to make it thirty, 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 and she said no. That that's just that's, that's how it came out. So. We just kind of kind of got lucky okay, on that. Looking good. Can you just sure. go over? I'm sorry, Peter. No, go ahead. I, I'm probably going to ask the same question you're going to ask, but <clears throat> and I should probably know the answer. Since yeah. I, I see you once in a while. Um, the the question I have is those that are uh, highlighted are colored in red. Yeah. Right? Do you see those vendors or those locations as being um, opportunities for educating them, or is it or is the game plan just to go ahead and make sure that we see them whatever twice a year, you know, whatever, whatever it is. Yeah, the, the, as far as education goes, where it's required that we every, every inspection we go to, we bring educational um, uh, materials and and try to educate every time. Um, this is only meant for frequency of inspections, uh, but obviously we were paying more attention to them because we are seeing them consistently versus the others which see us much less so they're gonna by 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 the fact that they're getting inspected more they're getting more education just because we're required to provide some educational materials and talk with them about what we're seeing every time we're there and we're there more often so the, the answer to you to that question is not specifically but it ends up being yes to your question just because the inspections are happening more often um yeah any other questions well that's yeah. really great Thank you. And it's Amani. So Amani did the work. I didn't yeah. do the work. All I, I did was say, please do this work. Mm -hmm. And I pointed yeah. her in a couple directions and she did the yeah. rest. Thank you, Bob. Yeah, Very thank valuable. You. So the high risk will be two times a year, That's low right. risk once two every to three. two years. It, it might be more than two. Okay. So two to three. And the medium risk is once, once a year. year. And the low Beautiful. risk is going to be every year and a half, two years. And so the susceptible populations, that's, that gets weighted. Yep, that, that's high. a weighted one, right, exactly. Yep, you see uh, the types of violations, you'll see. I mean, all the criteria are kind of listed here. Yeah. Uh, you know, menu complexity is, is a big one. Like I said, if you're, uh, if you're handling the food more or you are using food that is more risky, like raw animal products, for example, mm -hmm. uh, uh, then you would, uh, uh, you would, you'd go up in the on the ranking. So again, this just because an establishment is considered high risk, it doesn't mean they actually are right. not safe to eat at. It just right. means like for example, an establishment that does that prepares all of their own food and has somewhat complex um uh, a complex operation would be high on the on the on the list and the potential the potential exactly but that doesn't mean that they're not they're not safe to eat at it just means we're checking to make sure that what they're doing is is safe there's, there's more room for error and okay. you know that type of thing so so that's why we're checking them more often and i have to say when you think about where we were four years ago or three how long have you been with us uh, about three now i think yeah it's this is unbelievable. light years from where we were. Well, the goal is to, if, if I'm not happy. here, you know, you and I, Peter, will work on this and just assign these to the establishment so that it'll stay. You know, like, if the next person that comes in or wh whoever, yeah. yeah, it doesn't just disappear when me and Peter yeah. leaves, right? Yeah. So that the next people that come in, they'll be like, 
I understand. I see. But we got to, we always got to plan for anything. So, yeah. so, you know, the next people can come in and they can go, Oh, what's my priorities here? Well, it looks like I've got a bunch of high priority ones. I'll go there first. It's, it's so that'll help the town quite a really, bit. Really, really remarkable. Yeah. Yeah. And thank you to the, to the state for, for helping to fund the internship and to uh, UMass, who is uh, the person or the, the entity um, yeah. that Amani goes to. And of course, Amani for doing all the work yeah. that uh, generated the, the uh, report because um i all of that was was how we, she did she did great so thank you to her once again um what do you foresee for the future as far as for this? Not another yeah. like if you know to internship? work with an internship yeah. absolutely uh, it, as soon as i saw when i saw this popped up the issue we've had in the past is we as the town don't fund internships and a lot of times you know people mm -hmm. want free internships aren't the best internships in the world for right. people uh uh, they don't like them as much, right? Obviously. So we have to get funding. And so uh, the state funded this. And uh, so, and it gives her experience, real world experience, and it gives us access to her skills. So uh, I think everybody wins, uh, but we have to wait for those grants, the funding to come to be able to get uh, interns that will be able to do this type of work for us. Hopefully so, they'll continue. Hopefully, yes. It, it'll be good for the town, obviously. Yeah. So. Great. Thank you. Thank I think that's you. it. Let me just make sure I don't have anything else. No, I think that's it. All right. Well, thank you guys. I wonder if the collaborative has money for funding an intern. The collaborative? They do have funding, but I don't think for internship yet. However, they are the way that the state seems to be working with this is they are trying to fund things, initiatives that the collaborative does. And that might be something that will happen in the future. So, of course, if, if there's funding that goes through the collaborative, I'll yeah, jump on it. Tweak Meredith or whatever so that, yep. you know, it's on her radar. I will. Thank That's you, Ben. For, yep. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Peter. I'm next. Okay. Um, yes, this is usual, more or less. Uh, permits, <clears throat> there really haven't been a lot of food permits being uh, issued late. We obviously, we'll be gearing up in three or four months from now for the permits for uh, 2025. We've had you know, a very small handful of wow. food trucks in the last month or two. You know, there, obviously there was a big push, you know, a couple of months ago with the Asparagus Festival and so forth. Um, there's some of the other local vendors that sometimes have food trucks really haven't been that many uh, in the last few weeks. So that's been relatively quiet. Um, on the Title V side, uh, the only news there is obviously Ben and Syringe. All the perks and, and their park tests and so forth. Uh, Kevin is on medical leave right now. Uh, he, I don't know when he's due back, but um, he just went out, I think, a week or two ago. So, uh, so that bends, bends it. But again, I think, you know, that's been, again, I don't mean to speak for you, but again, it's been kind of like peaks and valleys. You know, there, there are days where it's like crazy busy. Yeah, absolutely. And then other days where it's like, you know, not a lot happening. But, uh, People now know that the perk tests are year round. So, so yeah. you know, like we are, we. I did a perk this this week, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, or a perk was done this week, I should say. Uh, and there's one scheduled for next week. So, you know, people are aware, and it, they are getting done. So, good. Yeah. yeah. So, um, other than that, um, again, relatively quiet. Again, it's summer, so you know, not a lot going on. And again, surprisingly, again, not. That much activity in terms of uh you know food trucks and whatnot has been relatively quiet so thank you um you know the as you know the budget was approved that uh for uh, the new fiscal year so july 1st we have a new budget in place and we we as the other departments did as well we all went in with we left with spending or level services if you will and um so whatever we had submitted, whatever three, four, five months ago was approved, and kind of, you know, no questions by the finance committee or anything like that. So um, that that went pretty well. Um, just as a reminder, uh, in October, October twenty fourth is the special town meeting or the fall town meeting at Hopkins Academy. There's some items that will be on the agenda that will you know we will need your vote. So it'd be good if everybody showed up if they can. Uh, there's some asked by the select board and the town administrator for spending money above and beyond 
the uh, you know the budget. But again, nothing out of the ordinary. But again, some of the stuff is important. So just as a reminder, on that, that's pretty much it. And again, Peter, thank you for oh, you know, welcome. Thank you yep. for everything. Good job. No problem. My pleasure. Nursing report. Sure. Uh, like I said, this uh, this coming Tuesday, the nursing staff from Northampton Board of Health is going to come here, hopefully, <laughs> and give a presentation. And uh, right. um, they're going to do probably uh, skin health mm. and sun safety. Um, and then the following month, I will not be here. And then the following month in October on the 15th, we'll have the flu and the COVID um, You're going vaccine. To I, I just won't be available. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so that will happen on the 15th from 9 to 12 here. And For the whole month of September, you're, you're... No, there's two dates in specific. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I'm not going to do a presentation that way. And um, I'm here one day a week. I'm seeing about 20 people. Wow, that's great. That's kind of my log, my like, yeah. sign-in log. Um, that's great. Awesome. And that's this kind of it. Yeah, it's got, right. I'm always hearing great feedback. So oh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 absolutely. We have like a real professional staff here. Oh, yeah. truly remarkable. So thank you. You're very okay. welcome. Uh, anybody have anything else? No, I, I don't. All right, so uh, Marcy, in the nursing office, there's a lot of test kits. Ben, it looks like, is getting more. Bring him back to the office and I'm getting more. And, uh, you know, let people know. Right. And yeah. Don't save them, pass them out. Yeah. See yeah. if the library wants yeah. them. That's, that's why we get them. Go. I have a question. Yeah. So where do you go to on guidance on how to test and when to test and when to put yourself back in the world? Because I hear different things about well, tests. You know, it's very, it's confusing it, for people. That's the Massachusetts Department of Public Health is the, is the, is the, um, but they've combined it with other respiratory illnesses. They have. That's what I've noticed, yep. right? Basically. So they don't really talk much about not they testing. will include it in a in a bucket of others that's what um, I pulled up. rsv and and yeah. everything and, and the so they so so I yeah that that's the flow. guidance that i that i've got so it's basically symptom resolution okay okay any details though go to that website yeah all right do we have any other business Next meeting. Our next meeting will be. I think of the twelfth. Will you? What that? The second. The second Thursday of September. What day? Uh, let's see. I'll tell you in a sec. I think it's the twelfth. Mm -hmm. It is. It's the twelfth. The twelfth. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so wait, I'm just gonna see. Well, I am actually away that week. Mm -hmm. Do you think um, Emma will be here to take? I'm I'm on vacation that week. Do you want to put it the week after? Make it the uh, I can make it the nineteenth. I mean, how does okay. how do other people feel yeah, about that? Me. Let's do that. Okay. Ben, how does that work yeah, for you? Just looking here, September nineteenth. You said. Yeah. And I'll let uh, Dragon know. Um. Yeah, I might have to do. I'll get back to you. Schedule it for now, and and I'll I'll let you know further. Okay. There's um, the other entry school thing that night, but I'm not sure. sure. Do, uh, like a um, do it over Zoom or something like that. So, but uh, I'll get back to you guys. Okay. So, do we want to hold them? Well, it's tentatively. Put okay. To a tentative. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Uh so it is uh six fifty. Any other business? I make a motion that we adjourn. Accepted. All those in favor? Okay. Thank you, everybody.